Because it is the Allied first turn, the Prussians get an opportunity to fire their artillery before the Allied player uh, moves uh, as a first turn only um, special event. Uh, but uh, you can see this, this, this uh, stick gives you artillery range and uh, you'll see no one is in range. So we can move straight on to the first move for the Allies. Um, as I said, uh, these uh, units here are inactive, so they cannot move this go. Uh, I don't think these units want to move. Their basic plan is to is to pin these. So uh, it is effectively these units here which will move. Um, in in this system, uh, as long as there's no other factors uh, involved, units can move uh, a single move without any problems, but you need to take what's called an action test if you want to do anything which is more complicated. Uh, these units, I think, for the time being, are going to just move forward. Um, so I shall move those forward, and then we'll see where we are after that. Okay, so infantry move uh, one uh, base width. Um, th this, is, this is a unit. And you can see these two bases here are a unit uh, and all measurement distances in the game are based on half of the frontage of the unit so this distance uh, which is which is that distance there uh, the system is flexible so you can use any size frontage that you want so we could if we wanted to have all these four bases as uh, a single unit in which case the basic movement distance and uh, measurement distance in the game would be that but in this game, the basic movement distance is this, and infantry move one of these, so they can move forward like so. Uh, I'll move the others in a minute. The cavalry can move two of these uh, 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 blocks, uh, but they don't wish to. They're going to just keep level with this. Okay, now uh, the commander here has, has got uh, a one pip uh, on his dice. So that means he can attempt to give a second movement uh, to any units under his command if he wishes, as long as they are grouped. So these uh, here are clearly a group. So I'm going to attempt to give them a second uh, movement, which is an action test, and an action test, a normal action test, fails on a 1 or 2. So he rolls a d6, and if he gets a 1 or 2, he fails, but if he doesn't, he can do a second move. So he rolls a 4, so they can move for a second time. Okay. Okay, so the Austrian um, command has moved, moved forward and got closer. Um, I, I should have mentioned before I moved them that they could have, they wanted to, because they were farther than uh, this uh, stick of distance away from uh, the uh, enemy. They could have, if they wanted to, done strategic movement. Uh, which is at a lot higher rate uh, to possibly uh, move around the flank here but I decided to get stuck in an attack here. Uh, so the last thing in the Austrians turn that they do is that they fire their artillery here so this is uh, in range here you can see there. Uh, at this range all they can do is bombard and bombard uh, means uh, uh, it forces the enemy unit to take a morale test, an action test if uh, if it tries to move. So this artillery is going to bombard that infantry there if it wants to move. That's the end of the Austrian turn, so now it's time for the Prussians first turn. Moving to the other side of the table, I think from the Prussian perspective, I think it's early days. Um, obviously that, that looks worrying, but I think at this point they would uh, pass straight over and onto the Austrian second turn.